Hi, I'm Jeremy Greeter, one of the authors of the study, Hawk Moth Flight Stability in Turbulent Vortex Streets. Von Karman vortex streets are patterns of alternately shed vortices that form behind objects placed in flows. They are common in nature, but we don't understand how animals that fly navigate them. To find out, Dr. Victor Ortega Jimenez placed moths in a low-speed wind tunnel I designed and recorded their response to alternately shed vortices of various sizes at various wind speeds. We hypothesized that these moths would be perturbed in different directions when flying in different regions of the vortex street, pitch when close to the vortex source, and yaw when further away. We analyzed their behavior using MATLAB-based software developed by Dr. Tyson Hedrick. For small vortices close to their source, moths turned out to yaw their bodies with an amplitude directly proportional to vortex size and strength, and at lower speeds exhibited body oscillation frequency directly proportional to the frequency of shed vortices. Wing beat frequency also increased when moths flew in the vortex streets. When vortices exceeded one wingspan in diameter, the oscillation amplitude of the moths increased, and oscillation frequency matched vortex shedding frequency. Vortices lose cohesion and strength the farther they travel from their source of energy. So, as expected, and as you can see in this video, flight kinematic changes were reduced the farther the moth flew from the vortex source. The mollifying effect distance had on body oscillation amplitude was particularly pronounced in the case of the larger vortices. In conclusion, we demonstrated experimentally that aerial disruptions experienced by Manduka Sexta flying into von Karman vortices are vortex size and frequency dependent, and these disruptions are reduced dramatically with downstream distance and vortex size.